I am literally so tired. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this video today, but we are doing it anyway. <laughs> Hello, Faux family. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today, we're here with another episode. I love doing these kind of videos. I'm going to be doing like a transformation glow up. Um, I'm going to be getting my nails done, probably going and buying like a cute new outfit that hopefully I could wear like on Christmas or something. Uh, doing my makeup. I'll probably straighten my hair today. I need to shower. So much to do, and I'm just so tired. I actually woke up at 9 o'clock this morning, and usually I wake up at like noon. I'm tired, and I didn't get any sleep last night. I couldn't tell you why, I just couldn't sleep. Let's get this transformation started. And I haven't eaten. Oh, I'm a mess. So this is my current look. Let's uh, make me look better. I think someone's trying to get inside. Hi, my little sweet baby. Okay, first step in a transformation is a good shower to make you feel good. I'm gonna jam out to music, get the hype train rolling. Let's do it. Now time for my updated makeup routine. I've been getting a lot of questions about my new makeup routine, so I'm gonna do that right now. So normally I don't wear any face makeup except I just do blush, but my skin is not having it, so we're gonna put on some concealer and some BB cream. Gotta wet the beauty blender. Okay, now that I have just like a light layer of face makeup on, I'm going in with blush. So I put it on my cheeks, obviously. And then I put it on my nose. Um, sometimes it's a little much, so I kind of blend it out with this big brush. Then I just do my eyebrows. So I just use a eyebrow pencil. Nothing has changed about this. Colored my eyebrows. Nice thick eyebrows, but just, you know, help them out a little bit. Brush them out. And boom, eyebrows. Then I go in with this Hoola Benefit bronzer and I use this as eyeshadow. Just like a nice, perfect, neutral color. It doesn't like really look like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but it just, you know, it helps a little bit. And then I've been doing my eyeliner every day. So I'm gonna give a little bit of an eyeliner tutorial because I've been getting a lot of questions. Any eyeliner that has like the felt tip, that's gonna work out perfect. So first I go in and I literally just draw a line from my inner corner to my outer corner and that's it. And I try to keep the line really thin. Okay, so now you have like your base eyeliner on. And this is gonna like, this might not work for everyone because everyone has different like shaped eyes and size of eyes, but this is just how I do mine. So I'm gonna kind of zoom in here. Okay, um, basically I'm just gonna angle the brush and literally just draw a line at an angle. And that's where you start. And then you just keep adding to it until it like looks good. And then see how I kind of like connected it into the eye? That's how you make it look nice and sleek. And I think I just messed up. Okay, I hate it. Wait, I'm doing it again. Take it off with a Q-tip. I'm gonna do the other eye first. It's kind of funny because even the way I do the two eyes is different because they're shaped different. Okay, I'm just gonna be happy with that. We're just gonna call it good. And then I just do mascara. Recently, I've been using this mascara and it's actually a burgundy instead of a black. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. And boom, that is my entire makeup routine and it's been less than 12 minutes of recording. So pretty solid and I messed up like three times. Oh, last thing. I don't really like wearing any lip product, but sometimes I will wear this. And I like the way it looks after it like is kind of like faded off, so yeah. And that's what it looks like. I don't know, I can never decide if I like it or not, so I don't always wear it, but. Okay, so now I'm going to do my hair. So I think I'm actually going to straighten it today. Heat protectant spray. Comment down below how long you think it's going to take me to straighten my hair. I like to start in the back. I'm done straightening my hair and that took less than 10 minutes. I could have sworn it took longer for me to straighten my hair. Well, I never know what to do with my bangs in this situation. <laughs> I honestly just want them to grow out at this point. So I'm not gonna pick out my outfit because I do want to go buy something new, but I do have a nail appointment here soon. So in the meantime, I need to make food. So I decided to do like a little hairstyle. This is what I came up with. What? 
Welcome to my kitchen. I don't know exactly what I want to eat, but I'm craving bacon. So I'm gonna make some bacon and with whatever else I eat. I'm gonna make three pieces of bacon. I only have like 30 minutes till I go to. What, I think I have leftovers from lunch. And I kind of want more like lunch food. I think I'm also gonna drink a Mountain Dew. I need a little bit of caffeine. I think I decided I'm just gonna get something while I'm out later, but here's my little like breakfast snack. Zora, are you interested? I just got bacon and the rest of my breakfast burrito with some salsa and a Mountain Dew. This is the most awkward meal and I didn't even plan on making it like breakfast vibes, but it is. Well, that was definitely the odd thing to eat at almost three o'clock in the afternoon. My taste buds are off, I guess. I'm gonna go put shoes and socks and a coat on and head to the nail salon. Downside of apartment living is I don't have like a garage to just walk into. I have to go like outside, down, around, and then into the garage so I can't like start the car before I leave because then I'm already down there. Also, I have a question. So I tried to bleach my vi white vans and they turned like yellow. So if anyone has any tips, they don't really look that yellow. But anyway, anyways, if you have tips, let me know. Okay, it's actually not that cold outside considering it's winter in Utah, but it's still chilly. Okay, it just got really cold. I think it's colder in the car than it is outside. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going. And off we go. I literally just got terrified that I ran over something like important. It was like one of those like packaging things that just popped. So whatever, freaks me out. Ugh. Anyways, let's go get my nails done. I feel like it's been so long since I've just done a video where it's just like me and I'm just like doing stuff. I don't really have any reasons to leave my apartment, so I'm blind. All right, so here's something to talk about. I finished the 100. Wait, I think I said this in my last video. Oh, well, we'll talk about it again. I finished the 100, all seven seasons, 100 episodes. It's so good. Best show on the planet. And I'll accidentally spoil it if I keep talking. So actually, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. How are you guys liking these daily posts? If you really like them, I literally might just keep doing it. Cause like when I first started my YouTube channel, all I did was post daily vlogs and they were the best videos ever. They were just so fun. Cause it was just whatever I was doing in my life. That's what the video was about. And it never tried to be like anything like crazy clickbaity. It was just whatever was happening, which was so much fun. So I think if I do like a good mix of those and videos, like sit down videos and stuff like that, then I could really like be happy with my YouTube channel again. Not that I'm not, but you guys already know what's been on my mind, so. I'm late for my appointment. Oh, my nails. So I think I'm gonna get just like some like deep red, maybe burgundy matte nails. I want them to be kind of long. I can't decide if I should get coffin shape or oval. I'm excited to go snowboarding soon. Just waiting for a good snow and a day that we're not extremely busy to go. We got our passes this year, so that'll be fun. We can go a ton. Oh, there's a VIP parking spot right in front of the door. Beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful. Well, that was a fun little drive with me and we'll see part two when I get out. Oh my gosh, I do that every time. Here's the before of my nails and I'll show you the after. And here are the results. Ooh, we love, so cute, Merry Christmas. I really like it. I love the length, love the shape, love the color, love it all. I wanted to do more of a burgundy, but then I was like, you know what, it's Christmas, so I went for the more like red, and I like it. It's a little different for me, so I think it's fun. <laughs> it's so cold. Our next stop is to go shopping. I want to get probably just a new shirt. I have plenty of pants, but I want like a new sweater or something like that. Honestly, I forgot how awkward it is to just go shopping by yourself, but this is like a outdoor outlet So I'm just gonna walk around. I don't really remember what stores are around here. I think there's an H&M So I'm probably gonna go for that Okay, I'm back. I got an outfit at H&M and I'll wait for the final reveal to show you guys. But I remember how I was like, I'm not gonna get any pants. I have so many pants. I bought a pair of pants. It's an issue, but I only got one outfit. I didn't get like multiple things. Um, I wish I could show you what I got my mom, but she watches my videos. Hi mom. 
I got you a present and it's really cute. I wish I could show you guys all the presents that I got, but I don't want people to see before Christmas. But I just called Dallin and he wants Cafe Rio and I have a $10 off coupon. So on my way, I'm gonna go pick that up. Then I'm gonna go pick up Dallin. We're gonna go to Dallas and Ellie's and that's where I'll put on the final outfit. It just feels so good with my hair done, my makeup done, my nails, and now I have a new outfit. I'm about to feel like a whole new person. Also, shout out to everyone where I was because I got like five different compliments on my hair which makes me not want to dye it but I know I want it all brown so anyway one more thing because I forgot to say I said it's awkward going shopping by yourself I retract that it was like the best thing ever going shopping by myself no pressure no time limit no one telling you to get or not get anything you get whatever your heart desires I pointed to my head when I said heart but it's fine it's honestly just such a vibe and you just get to know yourself and I forgot what it's like having a little bit of me time I like it Okay, that's a big yeet. The line was like at least an hour long and I was like, no. So I'm gonna go get down then we might go to the Cafe Rio by our house. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go inside and put on my outfit now because the traffic was just a bit much on crazy roads that I don't know. And I'm not wearing my glasses, so that was a very stressful drive. And I pulled into my driveway to realize I left my garage door open the whole time I was gone. So, I'm gonna go rest. <laughs> Gonna go change into my outfit and Dallin will vlog me when I'm ready. Man, it doesn't show sign of stop. And I've got me some corn for pop. Ooh, oh, there she is. Really? It looks so good. So, um, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> The dressing rooms were open, so I couldn't try anything on. But um, the pants, I got them in the size I wear all my pants in, and they're too small. I can't breathe. But I like the shirt. It says love. I don't know if this matches like the rest of the vibe, but it puts like a Christmas vibe on it. And then I like the beanie. But I don't know about with the outfit. Love to see it. You look so cute. I wish these pants. Is there a way to stretch out pants? One last look at the fit. I actually think I do like it. I like it. I think I did good. That's going to be it for my holiday winter transformation glow up. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas episode. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Bye!